Extra John Solid. Pop quiz. Try and guess what's for dessert today. Pudding. Bzz. Panna cotta. Boop boop. No dessert. Err, uh, too bad. The answer is banana juice. Ah, right. I saw it in the fridge earlier. It's cheap, easy, and tasty. Sure, it'd be nice to have some melons or mangoes, but, you know. Hold up. You were eating those things last week, and you never even gave me a bite? You never asked. You eat so much! No, I don't, right? Yeah. I'm Yazuriha. I'm eight years into my marriage. I live happily with my husband and my daughter. But there's one thing. Yuzu! Hmm? We got lobster from mom, as always. Oh, earlier than last year, I think. Should I tell her to stop? She knows you're allergic. Yeah. I first met my mother-in-law, Azumi-san, eight years ago at her house. Back in the day, people didn't behave like that, you know? I guess it's just how you were raised. Mom. Oh, ma'am. We shouldn't dwell on the past too much. We're not getting any younger. I got kicked out of her house on the first day I met her. Since then, she started sending us lobster. What should we do? I can't eat them. Sorry. Oh, and the other day, Mom asked me what you were allergic to. I only met her once, so I can barely recall her face, but I guess she still remembers me. You sure? She'll just keep sending them. Sure, why not? Just give them to the neighbors. They seem to enjoy it. You know Yuri-san? She keeps them in her aquarium. Look, Yuri-san. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. She sends us live ones. Just like lactic acid bacteria. Box feels heavier than usual. She must really hate me. Can I open it? There we go. Huh? And so that's what happened. Any idea why, Kaurin? I see. I might know why. The other day, she saw my son having an allergic reaction to mangoes. Grandpa actually gave him mangoes thinking they were persimmon. We had to call an ambulance and everything. Oh dear. But I'm not allergic. In fact, I like mangoes. She probably thinks all allergies are the same or something. She can be kind of clueless like that sometimes, and she doesn't even try to learn, you know? Hmm. Don't talk to me like that! But you said you once flew to Gifu because you thought all bullet trains arrived at the same station, so... I've never heard of that before. It's possible. That old... I mean, mother. She couldn't get the results she wanted with lobsters, so she tried to finish me off with mangoes. Maybe I'll pretend to be dead and show up at her house as a ghost to scare her. But I don't have time, and it's probably not worth the effort. Mommy! Mommy! What's the matter? You bored? No, I want mangoes! It's almost snack time! Oh, you want some mangoes? You mm -hmm. sure it won't upset your stomach? You had some this morning, too. But I want more! Usually I only get to eat one! Yeah, but... <laughs> there you go! Wow! There's plenty more! Eat up! We're so lucky! Yeah! Let's not give these out to the neighbors. We'll eat them all. Oh, better call your mother to say thank you before I forget. She'll be so embarrassed. After she finds out about this, she'll probably stop. And she'll save money too, so... Hello? Thanks for always sending us stuff I can't eat. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I thought they were persimmons. I took a bite and... <coughs> yeah, so please... No more mangoes. No more mangoes, please. Uh... All right. We're set for next year, too. All right, then. Time to eat. I'm Yuzuriha. I'm eight years into my marriage. So good. Hmm. Yeah. I live happily with my family. I'm home. Ugh, right. Nobody's here. I'm Sasuji. I live in an apartment by myself. I live on the fifth floor. Work was tough today. I need a soda. Huh? Wait, the bottle was half full last time I checked. Hmm. Air freshener? Check. 
My secret savings envelope? Check! My favorite Echachan doll? Check! Hmm, weird. Is it just me? Something felt off, but all my valuables were still here. It was probably nothing, I thought. But then, one day... I'm home! Right, nobody's here. Huh? Trash? Why is this here? Oh, it's a receipt from the store. Uh, hold on. What? This isn't mine. It was a receipt from a convenience store I've never been to. No, I'm so scared. Someone, I need to call someone. I know. Please, Akamatsu, pick up. I called Akamatsu, my boyfriend at the time. Hello, what's up, Tsutsuji? Akamatsu, please come to my house, hurry! Okay. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Tsutsuji, I'm here! Wait, what are you doing outside? You okay? Akamatsu, the thing is, I told him what happened. Hmm, a mysterious receipt and something feels off about the room, huh? But I just looked inside, nobody's there. It's probably nothing. No, I know something's up. Hmm, I know, I have an idea. Akamatsu went back home. He came back and started installing something in my room. What's that? A surveillance camera. I'm pretty tech savvy, you know. Done. For now, I'll keep an eye out during the day. Just sleep here tonight. Or you can go to an internet cafe or something. Then a few days later... <sighs> three days at an internet cafe. When is he gonna catch the culprit? Living like this sucks. Oh, it's Akamatsu. Akamatsu? What's going on? CCG, about the other day, I found out what's going on. Come to my house, now! What? Tsutsuji? You caught the person? Yeah, this footage is from today. It's pretty shocking. My room, who the hell is he? I locked the door. Why is he in my room? Right? You know him? No, wait, hold on. His name was Hiragi. He was the son of the landlord of my apartment. It's Hiragi-san. You know him? Not really. I just saw him once when I... Why is he... Whoa! That's my soda! And straight from the bottle! Wow, wow, wow! What the hell is he doing? Rose! Oh, Rose! What should we do, Tsutsuji? Do you really have to ask? Call the police! Now! <laughs> With the video footage and the receipt as proof, the police came and arrested Hidegi. The landlord came and apologized. She was crying. I'm so sorry about all this. No worries. She looks pretty normal. She paid for damages in the mover, so things worked out all right. Well, not really. Ah, <sighs> finally finished moving. Thanks for helping me, Akamatsu. I don't know how to thank you. No worries. After all that's happened, of course I'll help. Ah, uh, never again. Hey, Tsutsuji, this toothbrush. Maybe that guy was using this too. And this towel? Maybe he washed his... Um... Unmentionable with it. <laughs> Kinda creepy, no? Wanna throw it out? What did I learn from all this? Akamatsu, let's break up. What? All guys are assholes. I'm Karin. I live with my husband Tokusa and his mother Azumi. Dinner's ready. Thanks. My mother-in-law. She comes from a wealthy family. She does things like flower arranging and tea ceremonies, but... Apparently, she's very insecure about her level of education. Ugh, Karin son You went to graduate school, but you can't cook a decent meal! Mom, stop! And why are you eating at the same table? What? You eat on the floor! That's enough! The fact that I went to graduate school annoys her, apparently. My husband tells her to stop, but... <sighs> wow! Didn't know that these things happened in Japan. This is John. He's a study abroad student at the college I work at. Japan is so interesting! He's from America, and he loves Japan. After graduation, he wants to stay here and get a job. We became friends when he came to talk to me about his future plans. One day, when I was complaining about my mother-in-law to John... Hey, Karin! May I visit your home? I'd like to see this battle between you and your mother-in-law in person. I want to learn more about Japanese culture. Please! Ugh. 
I can ask, but, uh, Mom, about next Saturday. Yes? This study abroad student from work says he wants to come visit and... Huh? Study abroad student? His name is John. He's from America. He loves Japanese culture and he wants to talk to you to learn more about it. America. Japanese culture. Learning. It's my time to shine! Sure, invite him over. Okay. Well, I didn't lie or anything. Then... Hello, my name is John. Thank you for inviting me today. Hello there. Welcome. Look at all this expensive food. Karin, where's your seat? Does he not see all the amazing food? Uh, this one here. What? <laughs> but that's the same as everyone else's. Huh? Do what you do normally. Huh? Uh, okay. Like this? Hey, Karin san. Wow, nice! Karin, can you look even more miserable? Woo! What? What's going on? John is interested in mother in laws bullying their wives. He says it's an interesting part of Japanese culture. What? Bullying? I've never bullied you. Hey, Mom, why do you bully your daughter in law? I heard all the stories from Karin. The way you harass your daughter in law, I think it's quite typical. T what? <laughs> typical. He said typical. In Japanese culture, moms and sons are really close. True. In America, moms don't sleep in the same room as their children. What? Really? He went on to have a constructive discussion. Mom even started answering questions. And when the wife comes into the picture, the mother gets separated from her son mentally. Perhaps that's the reason why a lot of mother-in-laws lash out at the wife in Japan? I see. You might have a point there. You're right. Interesting point. Hold on, can I respond to that? She's getting really into this. I see. So as the mother-in-law... Yes, the wife is like a foreign matter that suddenly enters the family and... Foreign matter? Uh... Thank you. I learned a lot today. Good to hear. They've become good friends. Ah, may I get a picture of you two? No, no, not like that. Karin, go like this. Mom, go like this. There we go. Yeah, just like that. Nice. Mom, look even more evil and smile too. Mm -mm. Like this? Woo! You two, thank you so much. Sure, come back anytime. Son, what was that all about? <laughs> but it looked like you were enjoying talking to him. But it was a good opportunity to look at things objectively. I'm sorry about everything. Mother. But people don't change that quickly. She still harasses me. Karin, son, this dish tastes terrible. What's wrong with you? What? It tastes fine. Stop it. Did she already forget what happened? But now... Mom and I had a common subject to talk about, John. My birthday is coming up. Mom, it's John's birthday next Monday. Really? Invite him over then. Thanks to him, things have gotten a bit better between us. Can't wait to see him again. Thanks, John. I guess. John, on the other hand. Kuroki, the other day I learned about Yomi Biri, a Japanese term for mothers in law for bullying the wife. What are you talking about? Anyways. Did you try that new noodle dish? He was enjoying life here as a student. My name is Fury. I'm a single mother. I finally divorced my cheating husband recently. Right after I discovered he had cheated on me, my husband suddenly disappeared. Where did he go so suddenly? What do I do now? He's probably with his mistress. I could hire a private detective to follow him. Mom? What's wrong? Where did Dad go? I don't know either. But you don't have to worry about anything, Takusa. That's right. I don't have time to be looking for my husband. I have to feed my child. I kept on working hard to earn money. Thank you for waiting. Yuri, did you get hurt again? Yeah, maybe I'm working too much. I keep running into things. There's everything that has happened with your husband, too. I'm here for you if you need anything. Thanks, Asuji. What's worse, sometimes I would hear my husband call my name. Yuri? <gasps> that scared me. I 
guess I just imagined it. Lately, this has been happening a lot. Yuri, you've got to get a grip! You have to work hard for your son, even if your husband is gone! My husband said he came home after half a year or so. Yuri! Welcome back. Please, I can't take any more. Divorce me. Okay. I thought I would be angry when I finally met my husband again, but strangely enough, I didn't feel anything. I'm sorry, Yuri. I'm not mad anymore. I don't care. The divorce went smoothly. After a while, the divorce was finalized. The divorce process must have been hard. Are you okay now? Yeah, don't worry about me. Thanks, though. I have to say, I was surprised when he suddenly came back. My friend had a weird expression on her face. Suddenly came back? He was there the whole time. What? What do you mean? He suddenly disappeared. Yuri, you don't remember anything? When I heard from Susuji was, after discovering that Hideki was cheating, I met with him and his mistress. Yuri, I'm really sorry about everything. I won't ever do it again, so... What are you saying? You never told me you had a wife. Don't involve me in this. I'm leaving. Hey! The mistress then stormed off. Sorry about that, Yuri. I'll make sure she apologizes properly. Yuri? After that, I stopped responding and became expressionless. Hiraki took me home. At home... I know you're ignoring me because you're angry. I understand. I'm really sorry. However, I apparently stopped acknowledging my husband altogether. Yuri, it's been a month already. You don't greet me or respond to me at all. At meals, there isn't enough food for me. I can't take any more. Will you forgive me? Yuri? Ouch! Huh? What did I bump into? Ouch! It must be stress. Yuri, please! I was wrong! Would you please forgive me? Even if my husband cried or threw himself on the floor, I didn't notice. Half a year had passed when I finally was able to recognize my husband again. Huh? Sorry. I really don't remember. Really? Honestly? Yeah, not at all. That must have been what I thought were hallucinations. I've heard that sometimes shock can cause you to lose your memory. Maybe it was something like that. Who would have thought you'd stop recognizing Hideki? But for the past six months, Yuri, you were smiling a lot and seemed happy. On the other hand, Hideki lost weight and looked almost like a ghost. Is that so? The source of stress in your life disappeared, so it must have been a relief to you. Yeah, I never thought something like that would happen. I lost all interest in my husband after he cheated on me. But I don't feel like I'm missing anything in my daily life. My son is cute, so I don't care anymore. I won't have anything to do with him anymore. I feel like any energy I use on him is wasted. Nowadays, Hideki sometimes sends me messages. I just can't bring myself to be interested, so I ignore them. I have my sister check them just in case. Yuri, your ex has sent you another message. Are you going to ignore him? Ah, uh, sorry. What does he want again? I'm sorry I pushed you to this point. I want to take responsibility for what I did. He said. He sent a message like this before. Oh? Ah, uh, what did that message say again? I'm not interested. Whatever. And so? When I learned that I was cheated on, I should have been upset. But strangely, I didn't feel anything like that at all. Mom, look out! Huh? I'm Karin. The other day, I considered divorcing my husband, Hideki. This was because of his way of thinking. My husband. If both you and my mother were in a dangerous situation, I would save my mother without hesitation. Would insist on telling me things like this. Well, I guess he's one of those people who values his parents over his wife. I had made my peace with it, but... If both of you were attacked, I would save my mom! He kept saying it over and over. Honestly, it was starting to make me feel bad. And there he goes again. I guess I just have to let him get it all out. Hideki was supposed to get out of work on time today. Maybe I'll go shopping now. Hmm? Yes? Oh! Mother! Karin, hello. Sorry for dropping by so suddenly. Would you like to go shopping together? Etora Supermarket is having a sale today. Is that so? Yes, let's go! I'll get ready, so please wait a moment. Take your time. 
My mother and father-in-law lived in the neighborhood, so sometimes my mother-in-law would invite me shopping. These eggs are so cheap! Oh my, they are! She's so gentle, calm, and sweet. I can understand why you'd feel like you want to protect her. I'll buy some too. Thank you! A Taurus supermarket is really cheap! I bought too much! I bought two packs of eggs. My husband is going to scold me! Hey, you two! Father, Hidagi, were you two out shopping? We just bumped into each other at the station. What's all this? You bought all this? I'm sorry, it was just so cheap. Jeez, it's heavy, isn't it? Give me that. Thanks. Dad, I'll carry it. What are you saying? You should carry Karin's bags. That's right. What are you saying, Hidagi? But... Oh, I'm fine. I only bought light things. Karin, I'm sorry about Hidagi. No, no, don't worry about it. You should really suppress your love for your mother a bit. Oh! Ah! Hey, you two! There's a car coming! Mom, look out! Huh? What? Yeah! Yeah! Ouch! Are you okay? I'm fine, but mother is... Mom, are you okay? Mom! Don't shake her, Hiragi! <sighs> are you okay, Tsutsuji? Hiragi, call an ambulance! An ambulance? Mother! How do you call an ambulance? What are you doing? Give me that! Ouch! Hey, is this 911? Tsutsuji has regained consciousness, but she hit her head. So we'll keep her overnight just to be safe. I understand. Karin, you've cracked your little toe. So please try to rest as much as possible and avoid putting too much weight on that foot. Yes, I understand. Ow, ow, we're finally home. Is your foot okay, Karin? I'm okay. You didn't have to come home with us today. No, no. This is all my son's fault, so... <clears throat> so, Karin, can I borrow the other room for a while? Um, sure. Hiragi, come here. Yes. Why did you do something like that? Because there was a car coming and I wanted to protect mom. She wasn't in any danger of being hit by that car. They wouldn't have been hit unless one of them jumped out in front of the car or something. Uh, but... You just ended up hurting both of them! Also, what do you mean by, I wanted to protect mom? Her husband is the one who is going to protect her. I'll protect her for the rest of my life, and I don't need your help! Your job is to protect your new family, Karin! You'll never find a woman as good as her! They're right there in the next room so I can hear everything. My father-in-law lectured Hidaki all night. Ugh, Hidagi is crying. But thanks to that, the next day, Hidagi reflected on his actions and threw himself at my feet. Karin, I'm sorry about everything! You're more important to me than my mom! Hidagi said that I'm more important than his mother? The next day, my in-laws came to visit. I'm sorry for all this. I didn't think my son was that stupid. Ah! Karin, I'm sorry about our son! and apologize profusely. Our son is pathetic. Karin, if you want to divorce him, we won't try to stop you. Is what they said, but... Yagi does seem like he's really sorry. Last night, he even had a hard time sleeping because of it. Karin, don't leave me. So I decided to wait and see how things went before deciding on divorcing Hidagi or not. I bought too much again. A tourist supermarket is just so cheap! It's heavy! Karin! Hidagi! Out shopping? I'll carry the heavy ones. Oh, the thanks. Is stew okay for dinner? Sounds great. Your stew is really good. I love it. Oh, you. Right now, I'm happy. I decided to try and rebuild things between us. My name is Yuzuriha. My mother-in-law is always finding something to bully me over. Hmm? Mother, 
Dinner will be done soon. Oh. It's just <laughs> taking you so long to make it. I got hungry. Also, your cooking tastes bad and can't be healthy. So I don't want any. <laughs> Is that so? If I go to my in-law's house, my shoes will be moved from the front door to the side entrance. Hey, Suriha. You come in through the garden. When my mother-in-law visits, she brings her own tea. Hey, Suriha. Your tea tastes bad, so I brought my own. It's fine. Hey, Mom. Stop saying stuff like that to you, Zuriha. What? I'm just telling the truth. It didn't matter how much my husband told her to stop. She showed no signs of giving up. It just annoyed me a bit. It didn't really bother me that much. What she was doing was too petty and basic to get angry over. You silly, huh? The souvenir you bought from that trip you went on was so tasteless. I was surprised. One day, when we went to my in-laws for dinner... Today's dinner is fried pork chops. You like these, don't you, Yuzuriha? <laughs> Why does mine look like dog food? Well now, dig in. What's wrong, Yuzuriha? Aren't you hungry? Hey, Mom! Cut it out already! This is too much, don't you think? You're acting like a little kid. What? <laughs> Yuzuriha is a bad daughter-in-law. Of course she should be treated like this. Dad, say something to her. Um, uh... Mom, you eat the portion you prepared for you, Zuriha. Why? I can't eat all that. It's all the same once you eat it. Right, Yuzuriha? That's enough! Yuzuriha, let's go home. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry about my parents. No, it's fine. Let's not talk to them anymore. Thanks. After that... Several years passed without meeting my mother-in-law. We had a child. Kasuji, you're the cutest baby in the world. It's from my mom. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Huh? Yuzuriha? Mom wants to meet her granddaughter. Well, I guess at times like these... Maybe we can finally make up with them. She is this child's grandma after all. We had her come to our house. It's been a while. Congratulations! Oh my, how cute! She's going to be a real beauty. I'm happy to see you both after so long. I'm relieved you look well. You city, huh? I'm sorry for everything I did. I was going through menopause and it was awful. I know I shouldn't make excuses. I knew I was wrong and I was being so mean. I remember when I was newly married and how hard it was. I lived every day since we stopped meeting filled with regrets and guilt. I'm really sorry. I thought that maybe I would never see my grandchild's face. I was so anxious. I'm so happy to be able to see you again like this. <laughs> my mother-in-law cried and apologized. I didn't think she was lying. Mother, you'll stay for lunch, right? Oh, should I make something? No, no, please relax and enjoy yourself. I'll make some noodles. Sasuji, I'm your grandma! Wanna play with grandpa? They sound like they're having fun. A grandma celebrating the birth of her granddaughter. It's like all of those bad things didn't happen. Yeah, this is good. It's ready! <laughs> Mother, please eat as much as you want. <laughs> what is this? Only my portion? What's wrong? Let's dig in. Once you eat it, it's all the same, isn't it? Oh my, you don't like it? Mother. <laughs> you did it? You didn't think I was seriously going to give you a bowl of flour, did you? I won't do this ever again. From here on out, let's order sushi or takeout. Uh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I never did anything like that after that day. And my mother-in-law truly did have a change of heart. And just like I said, from that day on, we always got takeout. Good job! Ah.
You might think it was mean, but I think it was necessary to ensure we have a good relationship from here on out. Well, she almost stopped coming over entirely after that, though. My name is Karin. Soon after we got married, my husband Kuroki and I moved in with his parents. My father-in-law, Katsura, is a nice person, but... There was a problem with my mother-in-law, Yuzuriha, and her sister, Akane, who lived elsewhere. When I made food, how can we eat something so disgusting? Yuzuriha's right. I'll throw this out for you. When I clean, you call this cleaning? That's right. Look at all this dust. <laughs> These guys say whatever they want. My mother-in-law didn't like me. Corrine, what are you doing? Hurry up and clean this up. She would insult me no matter what I did. And Akane, who loved bickering, would stop by the house often. Corrine, you really are dumb. Why don't you try thinking for once? She would pick up where my mother-in-law left off and insult me too. Karin, I'm really sorry about them. Don't worry, father. I'm fine. Jeez, those two. Karin, if those two are too much, we can move out whenever you want, you know? It's fine, it's fine. Moving is hard and you're busy with work. Oh, right. They decided when my surgery will be. When is it? Next Wednesday. I'll be in the hospital for two nights and three days. The plan was that I was going to get surgery for an illness I was being treated for. It was a simple surgery. Nothing to worry about. Do your best while I'm gone. I know. Don't worry about anything here. We'll all come to see you. Your mother probably won't come. It's just minor surgery after all. <laughs> if mom doesn't go, it will probably be quieter anyway. Maybe. Well, don't force her to come. Got it. Then, on the day of the surgery... Mm. Karin? How are you feeling? Morning. Oh, I guess his mother really didn't come. Hmm. Why are you both smiling so much? Huh? Um... Uh, actually, Mom stopped by to see you, but... It's Karin, okay? Mom, calm down! When will the surgery be over? If you do a hack job, you'll pay for it. Um... Please, what's going on right now? It's gonna be okay, right? Yuzuriha, calm down! Didn't you say that you don't like Karin? Yeah, I hate her. I'm not worried about her at all. Wandering around like that outside the surgery room the whole time. She was really worried about you. Once surgery was finished, she went straight home. I've never seen her act like that before. Yuzuriha would never do something like that. These two must be lying. Or so I thought. Karin, you're so dumb. You should know more about your own illness. I bought you some books. I've already read them, so it's your turn. You want these? Oh, Karin, why are you cleaning? You just had surgery. You're so dumb. I was hesitant at first, but one day... Ah, uh, this person just wants me to pay attention to her. She doesn't actually hate me. I realized the truth. From then on... Karin, are you listening? Yes, I am, mother. I was able to ignore her insults better than before. My father-in-law and Kuroki would watch and smile, but... One day, my father-in-law died suddenly of a brain aneurysm. My mother-in-law was deeply shocked. Even after the funeral, she would spend the whole day sitting in front of the family altar. I'm home. Is mom still in front of the altar? Yeah, she's always there, except for when she sleeps. I guess we can only watch over her. Yeah, the biggest problem is Akane. Hey, Yuzuria! How long are you gonna sit there? Why are you fighting with Karin? You were always so angry. Sister... Uh, Akane! Leave Yuzuria alone, please! Karin, why are you pretending to be worried? Aren't you just looking for a chance to get her back? Huh? What are you saying? Karin, calm down. Sis, stop already. Ah, Aunt Akane, stop coming in on your own. Leave already. What? You're so cold. Whatever, I have a spare key. I'll be back. Mom, are you okay? Jeez, 
What is up with her? <sighs> Akane may be just trying to cheer her up, but the way she's doing it might have the opposite effect. Next time she comes, let's take her key. Yeah. Both Kuroki and I thought that Akane was just trying to cheer up Yazuri, huh? But one day... Yazuri has been so mean to you all this time. Are you secretly angry with her? If so, I can be on your side now. Huh? No. This woman. <laughs> I mean... Yazuri is weak right now. It's the perfect chance. What happened? What? What? Yazuriya, she hit me! Because you said something so unbelievable! Stop already! Sis, just leave us alone! What? We're over. It's all your fault since you've been moping around forever! Ah! What do you think you're doing to my mother? Uh, I, I hit her with a beer bottle. Th that hurt! What do you think you're doing? Go home right now. If you don't, I'll hit you again. I'll remember this. What's all the commotion? Did Akane come again? Kuroki, what should we do? What happened? Actually... You hit her with a beer bottle? What should I do? I hit her really hard. What if something happens to her? Was that the beer bottle in the living room? Yeah. In that case, it's okay. That was candy. Candy? That was candy? I thought I would bring it to a work event. I opened it and then just left it like that. <laughs> That's a relief. I was so worried. Now we can relax. <sighs> I'm so relieved. From then on, Yuzuria, who wouldn't smile since Katsura died, for some reason was able to smile again. Mom looks a lot healthier. It's like she's her old self. Maybe her attitude was because of Akane. On the other hand, Akane would run away when she saw me. <laughs> Kuroki saw her screaming at the beer bottles in the department store. She stopped visiting us and our lives became peaceful. I'm Kuroki. This is a story about when I was in high school. One day, I came home from school. I'm home! Huh? I noticed a strange smell. What's this smell? It smells like rotten food. Hey, Tokusa. Hey, Kuroki. What's that smell? It's all over the house. Oh, that. Look in the kitchen. Kitchen? I went into the kitchen. Mom? Ugh! There, I found a small animal in a cage. It looked dead and rotten, kind of like a zombie. What's that? Oh, hey, Kuroki. I found a kitten. Cute, right? Huh? Wait, it's alive? Of course. I went to the vet and everything. Oh, it moved its mouth. It's still very weak, so... According to my mom, she found the kitten lying in the middle of the road. What? A kitten? She couldn't just leave it there, so she decided to look after it. But she might not make it. According to the doctor, it's all up to her now. The cat already had parasites in its body. It also had some kind of skin disease, along with other infections. It was so weak that the doctor couldn't use medication. The side effects might be enough to kill her. So all we could do was keep it warm and give nutrients. Wait, do you plan on keeping that cat? Of course, look how cute it is. I can't just stand back and do nothing. I'll take care of everything, okay? And so, she named our new cat Chaco. She started taking care of Chaco day in and day out. But it wasn't easy. Chaco had pus oozing out from all over her body, but we couldn't use water on her. Ugh. So the kitchen always smelled really bad. And to keep her warm, she used an electric foot warmer wrapped in a towel. She adjusted the temperature using a thermometer. Whenever the cat went to the bathroom, she replaced the paper towel wrapped around her lower body and washed it as well. Day and night she kept doing this. 
<laughs> if she keeps this up, she's gonna pass out. And what if the cat dies? She'll be so upset. All right, let's help her. Yeah. Then, the next day, we offered to help. We were now looking after Chaco as well. On weekends, Dad helped us out too. My brother and I looked after her during the night. But... Ugh! Feels so bad! A cat with skin disease smells pretty bad, and it pooped all the time. Honestly, I was pretty irritated. But Mom was different. She never complained. Mom, how are you able to take care of Chaco like that? It stinks, doesn't it? Oh, well, when you were babies, you were no different. Huh? Cat poop doesn't scare me. <laughs> Moms, they're pretty tough. And then, thanks to Mom, Chaco started feeling better. She started to gain weight. And after a week, Chaco finally walked. Oh, Chaco, you can stand up now. And the skin disease was getting better. Chaco started growing more hair. Looking much better. We can finally use medication. The doctor decided to use medication to deal with the worms. After taking the meds, Chaco was feeling much better. Chaco! She's running. A few days later... Oh, Chaco! Uh, you look so pretty! She got a shower at the vet. Look at her eyes too. She's all cleaned up. The skin disease was gone too. Chaco was all cleaned up. We now had an orange tabby kitten. Chaco was all over mom. But soon she got used to me, my brother, and my dad too. I thought cats didn't like to be touched. But Chaco gets mad if I don't touch her. So cute. After graduation, my brother and I both left home. But when we came back a year later, Chaco still remembered us. Chaco, I'm home! It's all thanks to mom. She took care of Chaco and welcomed her into our family. When Chaco dies, I won't be able to get a new cat. It'll just be too sad. Then... Poor Sasuji-san. I heard she had a grandchild on the way. She was doing just fine. Breast cancer, right? How terrifying. Mom passed away due to an illness, leaving us and Chaco behind. I'm home! Hey Chaco. Chaco. After my mom's funeral, I got some paid leave and stayed at my parents' house for a few days. Chaco stayed next to me the whole time when I was there. You think Chaco understands what happens to mom? Maybe Chaco sees how upset you are, and she's trying to make you feel better. When mom was in the hospital, she told dad how scared she was. She cried when talking about me and my brother, but when we talked to her, she never showed any signs of weakness. Did you lose weight? You have to eat more. Chaco, I... I'm worried. What if my child gets sick like you did? Will I be able to take care of my child like mom took care of you? <coughs> Chaco... Sorry, Chaco. Who knows? I guess I'll find out once I become a dad. I just felt the baby. It can't. So much energy. But I learned from the best. I'll do everything I can to provide a loving home for my child. Karin san, happy new year. Hey, Yuri. Sasuji is already here. Oh, really? Hey, Sasuji, happy new year. Happy new year. Sorry, I already started eating. You know, I'm so glad that we get to spend time together like this. It's all thanks to Karin-san. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. I'm the one that should be saying thank you. It all started about 30 years ago. I was constantly busy back then. These days, I enjoy the slow life living by myself, but... Back then, I was so busy. And living alone only made things worse. Work was a lot of fun. I worked around the clock. I saved up a lot of money, but... I went home. I'm home. Ugh. 
This sucks. The house is so dirty. I better shower and go to bed. Ugh, I'm out of shampoo! Oh my god. I'll go buy some at lunch tomorrow. Living alone sucks. These days, you can just order stuff online. But this was 30 years ago. I got up early and came home late. My house was a mess. Then, one day... Huh? Who are you? Huh? Uh, me? Uh, sorry. I think I got the wrong room. You live in this apartment? What are you doing outside? It's midnight. Uh, Mom's boyfriend is here, so I can't go back in. Can't go back in? How long have you been outside? Uh, three days? An abandoned child. Her clothes are dirty, and she seems so... afraid. Sorry, I'll go. Hold up. Go where? Huh? Uh, if you want, come on in. It's not much, but I got some food if you want. What? Really? <laughs> All I had was noodles. Hope she likes it. Ah, that was delicious! Thank you! Glad to hear. Sorry, I wish I had more. No, no. It was so delicious. <laughs> Does this happen often? Yeah. You talk to your mother? She doesn't say much. She tells me to take care of myself. How terrible. But when her boyfriend comes over, I can't go back in. She shouldn't go back to her mother, that's for sure. Maybe she can run away when she enters high school, but who knows? She might not even be able to go to school. I probably should report this, but... Take care of yourself. I see. Wait, can you clean and do laundry? Huh? Uh, yeah. Alright then. Why don't you work here? If you take care of my house, I'll pay you. Really? I make good money, but I'm rarely home. So my house is a mess, see? So, if you can keep the house clean for me, you'll be so nice. Needless to say, you'll be paid for your work. Are you sure you want to hire me? Yeah. Alright then. I look forward to it. I'm Karin. What's your name? Yuri. Yuri, nice to meet you. I'm counting on you. And so, Yuri became my housekeeper. You can't go home, right? You can sleep here if you want. Really? I'm home. Hey! Oh, you're already here. Wow, the room is so nice! A clean house feels so good! Thank you! Sure thing! Yuri's looking better too these days. Yuri got the hang of it in no time. She cleaned and did the laundry for me. She went home from time to time, but stayed at my place whenever she got kicked out. She makes her own meals. Sometimes she even cooks for me. Kind of like a maid. Mmm, this is delicious! It's a new product! I saw it at the supermarket! She's so cute. I can't believe her parents would just abandon her like this. She started smiling more. She went on to study at a junior high nearby. Using the money she made working, she even went on to high school. Finally, she got a job in the city. It was like seeing my own child move out of my house. I was a bit sad. Then, I met Sasuji. She wasn't an abandoned child. She was a victim of domestic violence. She had bruises all over her body. Just like I did with Yuri, I hired her to help me around the house. She started feeling better. And just like Yuri, she went back to school and got a job. Today, they still treat me like I'm their own mother. During summer vacation and New Year's, they come back to visit me. These black beans are delicious! Nice! I made them! Wow! Oh, life is good. We're not related by blood, but we're like a real family. Karin san, thank you so much! Happy New Year! You always say that. But it's true! You saved us! Well, you guys saved me too. If it wasn't for you two, I probably would have died in that filthy apartment from working too much. I probably should have called child services or something, but I asked you both to stay because I needed the help. Karin san, I didn't know. But if you hadn't, none of us would be here right now. Yeah, I'm glad it was you who took care of me. So yeah, we're still very grateful. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better. Happy New Year! Yep, Happy New Year! I'm Karin. I have a daughter named Sasuji. She's in junior high. 
But these days, she seems really irritated. Something must be wrong. Hey, dear, what's the matter? Nothing. Clearly something's up. But she didn't want to tell me. And no matter how many times I asked, she refused to tell me. That reminds me, she barely talks about Akane anymore. Akane was Hisuji's friend from school. They were good friends. She used to always talk about her. But these days, maybe they got in a fight or something. But clearly she doesn't want to talk about it. I better leave her alone for now. She'll tell me if and when she feels like it. Yeah. And then, one day... Mom, can I talk to you? Sure, what's up? It's about Akane. She started talking to me about Akane. Recently, Akane started using social media, but she's been acting strange these days. Strange how? She showed me her post. She had pictures of her drinking and smoking. The most recent picture was a selfie showing some skin. This isn't good. I know. I told her to stop, but... Stop bugging me. Leave me alone. These days, she just ignores me. Sasuji, thanks for telling me. I'll handle this. Can I borrow your phone? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. First, I called Yuri, Akane's mother. <laughs> Hello, Yuri-san. It's me, Karin. Hey, Karin-san. What's up? Yeah? What? Listen. Yuri was speechless when I told her. Okay. I'll talk to Akane. I'll talk to my husband, too. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Tell Sasuji I said thank you. Sasuji, I talked to Akane's mom. She said thanks for telling her. Phew. So that's why you've been acting all strange these days. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. At first, I tried to forget about it. But I thought if she kept going, doing stuff like this, something really bad might happen to her. Thanks, Mom. That evening... Maybe it's Yuri-san. Hello? Sorry to call so late. My name is Akamatsu, Akane's father. Akane's dad? Thank you for telling us about our daughter. Um, may I speak to Tsuchi-san? I'd like to ask her some questions. Uh, I see. Please hold. Tsuchi, it's Akane's dad. He says he wants to ask you a few questions. Can you talk to him? Okay. Hello? Yes, that's right. I told her to stop many times, but... These days, she just ignores me. Yes. Yes. Huh? I'm sorry. Huh? Why are you apologizing? Let me talk to him. Yes, I'm sorry. First of all, you should have told us the moment you saw pictures of her drinking and smoking. If you'd done that, she would have stopped there. You don't really care about Akane, do you? <laughs> Why are you trying to put this on my daughter? Huh? Karin-san? Never call us again! Tsuji, don't listen to a word he said. But... I'm telling you, you've done nothing wrong. Mom... There, there. But what he told her upset her. She wasn't feeling well after that. Have a good day. I guess only time will heal her wounds. You too. Then, one day... Coming! Ah! Yuri-san! Akane! Sorry to barge in like this. Do you have a minute? The other day... I'm sorry about what my husband said. The thing is, we decided to get a divorce. What? He's always been like that, you know? He always blames others and complains. And when Akane talked to him... You're so dumb. Do something more interesting. Well, I bet you can't. <laughs> that's what he said to her. So that's why she uploaded those pictures? Yeah. He only hurts the people around him. So I decided to leave him. Akane agrees. Tsuji, thanks for letting me know. It's all thanks to you. Sisuji. Sisuji, I'm so sorry. I said all those horrible things to you. Akane. It's okay. I'm just glad you're okay. And so, Sisuji and Akane made up. Things went back to normal, free of alcohol and cigarettes. She told me she was just pretending to begin with. I see. And Yuri-san finally divorced her husband for good. Today, she lives happily with Akane. Life without an abusive husband. 
I'm so happy. Sometimes the four of us go out to dinner together. The other day. Hey, that reminds me. Akamatsu called me a few days ago. My house is all dirty because of you! I'm getting fat from all the junk food I'm eating! I can't get things done at work! Can you believe him? It was so funny! He hasn't <laughs> changed a bit. I think Dad's gonna get fired. Huh? Why do you think that? I saw his social media. Sold stuff from the company on eBay. Easy money. He was bragging about it, but one of his coworkers found the post and told on him. It's on all his social media. Hey! Who read it on me about eBay? Tokusa, was it you? My manager wants to talk to me. What am I gonna do? I know you're reading this. Look who's talking. Anyways, getting, getting a, a divorce, divorce was the right call. call. We can all agree on that. One day. Hmm? A message from Karin? Karin was my brother's wife. My sister-in-law. Susuchi. Long time no chat. I got a dog. Do you want to come over and see? My brother Katsura and my sister-in-law Karin had dated since high school. I've been on good terms with Karin. I also love animals, so... Yes, I'll be right there. I replied immediately. I went to my brother's house, who lived nearby. I wonder what kind of dog it is. I'm so excited! Karin actually has a pretty courageous personality. So cute! But she really likes cute things. So when she said he wanted to get a dog... I'm definitely going to get a small, fluffy, cute dog! She boldly proclaimed. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Welcome! It's been a while. It's completely different than what I expected! It's big! Come on in. Let's go, Musashi. Woof! Musashi? What happened, Karin? You said you wanted a small, fluffy dog. Listen to this, actually. According to Karin... Alright, my family finally gave me the okay. I'm going to get a cute dog. Hey! You're not listening! I can't take care of a dog this big! Take it back! I paid you two thousand dollars! So give me a thousand back! Aww. Uh, we can't give you a refund! We can take the dog back and find a new owner! Haven't you heard of a cooling off period? Hurry up and give me my money back! What is this old guy saying? There is no cooling off period for pets! I don't want this dog anymore! Wait! <laughs> I heard everything. You! What kind of selfish talk is that? Such a good dog being wasted on you. I'll give you 1500 so get out of here. You're not involved with this, so butt out! This dog is already mine. Don't decide that on your own! S stop! Stop! Everyone calm down! Um, will you really adopt this dog? I will. He's my dog now. I understand. This person says she will take the dog. And says she will pay you for it. So is it okay if she takes the dog? Well, as long as I get my money. Let's do the paperwork. Please write your names here. First, Akamatsu will return ownership of the dog to the shop. Then, Kari will buy the dog from the shop. And I will give Akamatsu the money. So please sign here. Well, I'm finished here, so I'm leaving. Uh, I'm sorry about all that. No, no, I'm sorry. I can't forgive people like that, though. Yes, but it's okay now. I know that person's name and address. I'll send his information to the other pet shops in the neighborhood. He's going to be blacklisted. He won't be able to buy a pet anywhere in the prefecture. Phew, that's a relief. <laughs> Let's go home. And that's what happened. Musashi, I'm so happy for you! At first, my family was surprised, but... So cool! Everyone fights over who will walk him. Musashi, let's go for a walk! Hey, you went this morning, it's my turn! Daddy wants a turn, too. In the end, all three of us end up going on walks together. So, it's fun walking together. Today is Daddy's turn. Hey, cut it out! 
Hmm? I said I wanted to buy a dog! We won't sell you a dog. What was that? What's that about? No idea. Who cares? Let's hurry up! I'm a customer! Hello, police? Oh, wait a minute! All's well that ends well. My name is Karin. I'm living with my boyfriend, Takusa. Karin, would you help me out? Sure. There we go. Okay. One, <clears throat> two... <clears throat> Takusa does sit-ups every day. Last one, 50. 51! Huh? I'm going to do A starting today. Oh. Uh, when he finishes all 50... 79! 80! <laughs> it's a little reward for trying harder than usual. Or something like that? 80! Now, when I tried doing that stupid little thing, I slam straight into my boyfriend's elbow. Huh? I hit myself so hard that my nose started bleeding. What? Why was your face there? I'm sorry, Karin. Why did this happen? I couldn't even really reply to Tokusa. The blood just won't stop! Hello? For some reason, Tokusa called an ambulance. Do you know about your philtrum? It's right here under your nose. It's one of your vital spots. If you hit this spot really hard, you could pass out. So, how did this happen? I... I can't tell her. Um, I can't tell her I tried to do something so stupid. I can't say it. I... I was helping my boyfriend with his workout and... Hit, his elbow hit me on accident. It was... <clears throat> when I turned around, Tokusa was ugly crying. I'm so sorry, Karin! Eh, Tokusa, it's not your fault. Don't apologize. No, it was... No, it's not like that. I understand. Please wait here for a bit. Did she suddenly seem mad to you? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm really sorry, Karin. Don't apologize. It's my fault. All of it. But... No, really. Actually... Are you stupid? It was just an impulse. How are you going to explain that? I don't think it's necessary to explain it at all. I've been treated and my nose has stopped bleeding. Actually, doesn't it seem like the doctor is taking a long time? We're the police. We would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Why? Actually, a few minutes earlier. Please wait here for a bit. Hello? This is Susuji from Atora Hospital. Yes. Yes, that's right. The woman couldn't explain things smoothly and the man was showing deep remorse. This is clearly a cut and dry case of domestic violence. There is no doubt about it. There seems to have been a terrible misunderstanding. Domestic violence?! Why?! Please wait, there must be some kind of mistake. Takusa didn't do anything like that. Then why are you injured? It was an accident. Then why didn't you say that sooner? Victims of domestic violence often try to cover for their abusers. You just don't realize what's happened. It's okay, we will slowly work on the mental aspect of this. No, no, no! You're wrong! I'm not wrong! Your boyfriend hit you, didn't he? I just tried to kiss him. Huh? He... he did a bit harder of a workout than usual. I was trying to give him a kiss as a reward. It wasn't his fist. I got hit by his elbow. Mm. <coughs> Can we leave? Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry about all this. It was like being in hell on Earth. I'm Yuri. This is my dog, Kensuke. It might just be me, but I think he's an amazing dog. Kensuke, ready? Sit. Shake. Good boy. Yuri, you playing with that stupid dog again? Mom, he's not stupid. He's smart. He's stupid. Who broke Kuroki's radio-controlled car the other day? Oh. Uh, well, Kensuke loves anything that moves. If it wasn't for that, he could have been a rescue dog. Good boy. Next time you break something, I'm officially renaming you to Stupid Dog. Oh. Come on, Mom. Mom's 
just saying that. But I know you're a good boy, Kensuke. You always sit next to me during walks. <coughs> Sorry. No problem. And you don't bark at other dogs. I'm really proud of you. Huh? Kensuke? What's wrong? Something upsetting you? Wait, this is how rescue dogs move. What is it? The park? Where is he going? What did he find? Something in there? Hello? Anyone? Uh... It's not dangerous, right? Alright, fine. Uh, anyone? Huh? A child! What's wrong? You okay? He's got a fever. I better call an ambulance. Hello? I found a child with a fever. Yes, I'm at Etra Park. Near the tunnel thing. Uh... You okay? I just called an ambulance. How long have you been here? Not sure. Since last night, I guess. Mom said she was going on vacation with some strange man. I said no, then she got mad. Then she said I was no longer her son. What? They kicked me out, and they're still not home. It's dark and cold. So you spent the night here? Ugh. I slept here, but I started feeling sick. I can't move. I'm hungry, Mom. Mom! How oh, terrible. How do you abandon your child like that? What can I do? Ugh, I only have stuff for walking the dog. It's okay. I called an ambulance. Don't worry. All I could do was comfort him and wait for the ambulance. Thinking about what he went through made me cry. I could barely explain myself to the paramedics. Hope he's okay. Oh, Kensuke. Hope he's okay. Later, the police spoke to me. They told me he had a cold, but he was fine. Oh, I'm so relieved. Great job. Good boy. Amazing. Good job, Kensuke. And so, they might give me an award or something. I see. But it's not like things worked out for that boy. Not sure if I should be happy, but at least I was able to help. Yeah. Alright, from this day on, I'm gonna call him Brilliant Dog. Eat up! Oh. Hey, that's gonna make him fat! Oh, come on, let him eat. But seriously, you guys did a great job. Yeah. Great work, Kensuke.